What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be learning about a very popular sorting algorithm known as merge sort. We're going to see it written out from scratch in Swift and we're going to talk about the theory behind it. Pretty popular when you're studying for interviews or just studying computer science in general. That said, drop a like and let's jump into it. All right, we're gonna begin by opening up Xcode and we're gonna be working in a playground. So let's go ahead and create that. We're gonna stick with the blank template here and we're gonna creatively call our playground merge sort. Let's continue by waiting for Xcode to do its thing. Let me go ahead and center this. We'll close up this left panel since we don't really need it. And let's give ourselves a little more room to work here. Now the premise of merge sort is twofold. We wanna divide up the array that we wanna get sorted and then we wanna merge those divided up halves back together. So let's start by actually declaring a function for merge sort. It's going to take in an input array that we want to sort and it's gonna spit out a sorted version of said array. The first thing we actually wanna do inside of here is make sure our array has elements that we can actually sort. So we're gonna verify that the count is greater than one. If we only have one element, there's nothing to sort, kinda of silly, we can just return the input array. The next thing that we wanna go ahead and do is get the middle index of our array. The way we do this is by saying array.count divided by two, because count is an integer, even if the number of elements in your array is odd, this will not result in a decimal point or a fraction, so not to worry. The next thing we want to do is recursively call this merge sort function on the left half and the right half of the array. So we're going to say the left is going to be the result of calling merge sort, and that is not what we're looking for. We're going to call merge sort the function that we are writing out here, and we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste it so the playground plays nice. We're gonna go ahead and say in here, we wanna call merge sort on the array. So we're gonna say array, take the input array, and we want zero to the middle index of said array. Now that we've got the left side taken care of, we wanna take care of the right side as well. Now to avoid this giving me a return error, we're gonna stick a empty array return at the bottom there. We're gonna copy and paste this for the right, and the way that we get the right is by saying array, and we wanna get from the middle index all the way to the upper bound of the array. So we're gonna say array.count, which will give us the right half of said array. Now finally, as the name implies, we need to merge the left and right sorted halves back together. And this is where we wanna add another function, which is going to be called merge. It's gonna take in the left side, and we're gonna go ahead and say, it's an array of integers. It'll also go ahead and take in the right array, or right side, and this will also be an array of integers, and it's gonna go ahead and return a merged array like so. So the return value for the actual function up here is going to be the merge of left and the right. Let's go ahead and implement this merge function and that'll be that. So the first thing we wanna do in this merge function is create an index for both the left and the right arrays respectively. So we're gonna say left index is gonna be zero to start off, same as the right index, like so. We now wanna write three while loops. The first while loop is going to verify while left index is less than the left.count, and keep in mind, left is the input array right next to the right input array. So we're gonna verify while the left index is less than the left count and the right index is less than the right count, we can go ahead and run some code in here. What we wanna actually do in here is check which thing is greater than the other to append to a result. Before we can append to a result, we actually need to create a result. We're gonna create a result right up here and we are gonna be a little more efficient. We're gonna say results, go ahead and reserve the maximum amount of capacity that we need in this result array, and that is going to be left count plus right count. We are never gonna need any more slots in this array than the sum of the two array sizes. So now that we have that there, we can continue on in our while loop. Inside of here, we're gonna say if the element in the left array at the left index 
is less than the element in the right array at the right index, we can go ahead and first append to our result array the element in the left array at the left index, and we can also go ahead and increment that index pointer. Similarly, we're gonna copy and paste this, and we're gonna say if the element in the left array at the given left index is greater than the element in the right array at the right index, what we wanna go ahead and do is append the element from the right array at that index and increment the respective index. And finally, if neither of these cases get hit, we can assume that the values are equal in both sub arrays in left and right, and we wanna go ahead and append and increment both. We're gonna be a little uh, quick here and copy and paste it. We're gonna go ahead and increment the left index, the right index, and we also wanna go ahead and append both elements from the left index and right index. The order of the append here does not matter since at this point we can assume that the values are equal. Now at the bottom of this function here, we can simply return our result, but there is an edge case we need to take care of. And that edge case is, what if the sizes of the left and right subarrays coming into our merge function are not equal? In other words, what if we pass the entire left array before we even touch the right array? And what we need to do to take care of that is we need to write two more while loops. So we're gonna say while left index is less than left.count, we can simply increment left index and append its values. So we're gonna say result.append from left, the elements at left index, and we're gonna go ahead and say left index increment by one. Similarly, this will exhaustively take care of the left size. We need to do that for the right side as well. We're gonna say right index while it's less than right.count, go ahead and append the element from the right array at the right index, and finally increment right index. And there you have it. We've just implemented merge sort. Let's go ahead and write a actual test here to make sure it in fact works. We're gonna do it right down below. We're gonna go ahead and say test array, and we're gonna toss a bunch of random numbers in here. Let's see, 13. Let's get some large numbers in here as well. You can definitely put whatever you want in here. It should always be sorted no matter what. Let's go ahead and add a few more, and we will go ahead and give this a run. Now that we've created a large test array, we're gonna say the sorted output of this is going to be our merge sort function, passing in our test array like so. Let's go ahead and print out sorted. We can hit Command Shift Y to open up our bottom console, hit the play button, and in a few seconds, you should see the sorted version of our input array. Let's take a look and make sure it's correct. 3, 3, 12, 12, 13, 17, 18, 22, all the way up to 987. It is in fact sorted in ascending order and we've done it. We've written out merge sort in Swift. Let's do a quick recap and we'll wrap it up. The premise of merge sort, again, is to take your input array and divide it into two before you merge it back together. If you visualize this, what we are actually doing is splitting up the array into smaller pieces by splitting it in the middle, and we keep doing that until we get to a single element collection. Here we've gone ahead and recursively called it for the left and right sides of the array. We get the middle index, which tells us where to split the joined array to get that left and right. And finally, we call merge on both left and right pieces to get a sorted array. Keep in mind, merge gets called for every recursive call, so if we come down to our merge function, all we're really doing in here is creating a pointer to both the left and right subarrays starting at zero. We're creating a result, which is going to be of max capacity, the element count of left plus the element count of right. In our while loop, we check which element in the left or right at the given indices is greater than the other and append accordingly. Respectively, we increment the index so we don't call this while loop endlessly and end up in a loop. 
Finally, we have two more while loops here to take care of edge cases in case either the left or the right subarrays were not exhausted. And then we return our results back up to the initial caller in this merge sort function. And that's it. That is merge sort in a nutshell. Very common algorithm, really interesting to write out by hand, definitely important to know for all of your coding interviews and just general theory. Thanks for watching. If you haven't dropped a like, don't forget to do so. Hit subscribe. Let me know if you got any comments down below. Always happy to help. I'll see you guys in the next one.